Hi there. So for the first part of this question then, we had to find this acceleration when the lift descended. And it turns out to be 6 fifths or 1.2 meters per second per second. So as usual, I'll just take you through the work solution, but you might want to fast forward just to see the complete solution. Now with this, what I'd want to do first of all is put on the uh, forces acting on this lift. And we've got the weight of the crate plus the weight of the lift. That's going to be 255 newtons. And that's all going to act downwards. Okay, so just mark that in there. I'm going to ignore all the forces acting on the crate. We're just concerned with the forces on the lift here. So that's going to be a total of 255 G newtons. Now there'll be a tension in the cable, okay, so I'll mark that in, we'll have that it's going upwards, and that will be T newtons. Now this is an unusual question as far as lift problems go, because normally that's what we tend to put in. But with this one, we're told that there's an upward resistance of magnitude of 150 newtons on the lift. So to this, I'm going to have to add another 150 newtons. Okay, so that's quite unusual with this one. So if we're to get the acceleration, we've got a slight problem here because we've got two unknowns. Okay, if I was to consider Newton's second law of motion on this, force equals mass times acceleration. So I'm going to need another equation. And to do that, what we do is we turn to the crate. So the crate's going to be descending with the same acceleration, but we look at the forces now acting on the crate. There's obviously the weight of the crate, which is going to act downwards. That's going to be 55 G Newtons. And there's going to be a reaction from the floor. And we're told that that reaction is 473 newtons. Okay, so that's 473 newtons in there. Now I can resolve downwards, use force equals mass times acceleration, and I can now work out what A is. So for part A then of this question, all I've got to do then is resolve in the direction of motion, resolving downwards, applying force equals mass times acceleration and what we've got then is the weight 55 g then minus the upward force that's 473 newtons that's our resultant force which is equal to the mass which is 55 times acceleration a and if you rearrange this you'll find that 55 times G, G is 9.8, minus 473, that comes to 66. And so you just got to divide 66 then by 55. And that reduces down to 6 over 5, which is 1.2. 1.2 meters per second per second. Okay?